mature for your journey and calling. Maturity for your, uh, your journey and your calling. Kukoma kwa sababu ya safari ya maisha na kwa sababu ya mwito wa mungu. Bible a uh, Kristu daima is concerned na situ mutu abe mfuasi. Ni mutu haraka akomae. Tumeitua na mungu. Tunamfuata bwana. Lakini kristo anahaja sana na kuona baada ya mezi katha. Baada siku katha. Dugu, tata, haukai the same way. The concern is not just being a brother. The concern is not just being a sister. The concern is the progress and maturity. Na hiyo kitu inamsubua bwana isipoendelea. Hallelujah. That's why mara nyingi kama kuna jabo lilifanya Yesu akeme wanafunzi ni wakati kulitokea hali iliyoonyesha wangali hawajashika kile anataka. For instance, ukienda katika Mariko, Mark you realize Jesus in several instances complained about the late of maturity and growth akaona haiendi vile anataka na ikamsubua sana for instance ukisoma mark chapter 4 utamuona yesu akisema kitu katika mark chapter 4 verse 35 siku ile kulipokuwa jioni akawaambia tuvuke mpaka ngambo wakaacha mkutano wakamchukua vile vile verse 37 mark 4 that 7 ikatokea dhoruba ku na upepo mawimbi yakapiga chombo hata kikaanza kuzama mhm mm kikaanza kujaa maji naye mwenyewe alikuwa amelala waka wakamwambia waka, waka mwalimu si kitu kwako kwa hapa tunaangamia akaamka akaukemea akaamka akaukemea upepo akaiambia bahari nyamaza utulie upepo ukakoma kukawa swali kuu akawaambia bona mumekuwa waoga hamna imani bado even at this stage you still don't have faith Kwa maana Kristo lipo sema tunavuka bahari. Tuna kambo hile ingine. Haku achwa nyuma. Bible says he was in the boat. Wakam tukua pamoja nae. He was there. Na akiweko na yeye ndia mesema wanavuka. Mawimpi the rumba zika piga chobo. Magica ja. Na wakaanza kusema tunangamia. We are perishing. We are perishing. We are perishing. Na hata, we, na hata walipo amusha yesu, walimuambia, don't you care that we are perishing? Jesus stood up. Aka amuru pepo utulie. The rupa ziishe. And kukawa stillness is your kawaida. And Christ said, nyinyi, you mean you are still struggling to believe. Why are you fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Najia moja ya kukoma that Jesus anatazamia sana even before anything else. Ata kama hujui megi. Ata kama huja jua biyashara sana. Ata kama huja jua kuoga sana. Ata kama huja jua kuruka sana. Jesus agetaka ukomae katika kitu kwa imani katika yeye. Faith in him. I may not mature in many ways. Lakini imani katika yeye. Ha, sina shaka. Hallelujah. Ikifika mahali anahitajika. I know him whom I believed in. Ikifika pahali na itajika kunena neno kwa nyabayake. 
hapo sina msaha you realize the same jesus akawa na issue in the same book of mark ukienda hallelujah chapter 8 ebu twende hapo mhm ukisoma chapter 8 verse 14 Bible nasema wakasahau kuchukua mikate. Wara choboni hawana ina mkate moja. Na this time wamesahau kuchukua mkate, mikate na kwa chobo they only have one roof. Wametoka ngambo ile ambapo Kristo amelisha wanaume elfu tano na mikate mitano na samaki wawili wametoka ngambo ile ambapo Kristo amelisha watu elfu ine na mikate saba na ikabaki kitu sasa after seeing all that tuvuke sasa twende kasema oh na tuko kumi na wawili kwa boat plus Jesus 13 na mkate ni moja wakaenda Jesus noticed wameasa kubi sana kwa sababu ya only one loaf of bread. Hello Jerry. Jerry ni acha kwa UK. Oh you are welcome. Amen. God bless you my sister. Jerry ni sister ya Mwangi. Mwangi uko sana Jerry akopanda ile. Akunywa kahawa. The Lord bless you so much. Now, <clears throat> you see Mungu na, naomba tu imani yangu Mungu tu katika yeye iko mai iwe safi. You, you see mikate hiyo saba watu elfu ina wameshiba na ikabaki mikate mitano na samaki wangapi wawili hey baba waja hai iko mzee pale ile anga ni mzee mzuri sana weka karibu ni mzee wa maana barikiwa baba haleluya sasa sikiza sasa alipolisha watu elfu tano na ikabaki vikabu mbili wameona This time ni watu 13 na, na mkate moja. Wamengangana akasema nyinyi mnangangana kwa sababu hamna mkate. Akasema je are you not able to believe if i could do this 4000 people seven rows 5000 mkate mtaza makwa wili you still have to believe Munge shukuru museme if Jesus could do this he can do better with this one Hallelujah Kama kuna jambo na Mungu anagojea itokee in the life of bishop na mshirika wote wa kanisa ni imani ambayo Mungu anakuza katika yeye That mengine ifuate but let faith grow In Jesus name. Hata wakati Yesu ukisoma katika Mark chapter 9, Kristo ameita John, Peter and James wamepanda kwa mlima. Kuteremka. Anapata wanafunzi tisa waliobaki chini ya mlima wanabishana, wanabishana na mafarisayo, wanabishana na waadishi. Akauliza, "He!" Nini mnaulizana hao watu? Nini? Kukatokea mzee akasema Jesus, I brought my son to you. Nikifikiri nitakupata kwa hao. Na wameshindwa kutoa pepo bubu na pepo kiziwi. Imepagawa kijana yangu tangu dotoro wake. Kristo kitabo ashughulikie kijana alianza na kusema tangu lini ukiangalia mark chapter 9 haleluya hebu tuangalie hapo amen amen tuangalie hapo verse 19 mark chapter 9 verse 19 akawajibu akasema enyi kizazi kisicho amini nikae nanyi hata lini Nichukuliane nanyi hata lini mleteni kwangu Oh faithless 
generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Now, Baba, na agni saidi, ni sijen kakemewa hivi. Wacha watu akiniona wajue ofisi ya Yesu iko ndani yangu na ni complete. Acha nikiitwa mtumishi wa Mungu watu wajue mikono yangu ni mikono ya Kristo. Jitakaseni kusiwe na jabu litakuwa gumu kwetu. Kristo akasema for how long will I bear with those who believe? May the Lord help us. God wants us to mature. Kuna tabia kadha za mtu abaye anaendelea kukoma katika Yesu aliyetuita. Jambo moja, wewe huwa imara sana. You are not tossed easily. Wewe sio mtu wa kurusharushwa. Wewe ni mtu ambaye katika imani ya Kristo you have roots. Bible yasema katika Aefeso 4 Aefeso 4 Ephesians chapter 4 yasema hivi verse 11 verse 11 naye alitoa wengine kwa mitume na wengine kwa manabii na wengine kwa waijristi na wengine kwa wachugaji na waalimu ili kusundi la kuakamilisha watakatifu hata kazi ya huduma itendeke hata mwili wa Kristo ujengeke hata na sisi tutakapoufikia ene mwanita tutakapoufikia umoja wa imani na kufahamu sana mwana wa Mungu hata kuwa mtu mkamilifu hata kufika kwenye cheo cha kimo ehe i like it english till we all come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of god to a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ hallelujah The Bible says okay the verse 14 in a sema ili that we should no longer be children I pray from today a statement will be issued from the throne of God ikisema this ones are no longer children that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind by trickery of men and cunning craftiness of the deceitful plotting to see what watu wa kurusharushwa na kuyumba yumba lakini matoni nani but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head of the body may the lord help us now ebu tuone tabia hii ya kukoma ukiangalia vizuri kitu kimoja kinachofanya mtu akomae kanisani ni mtu aliye chini ya huduma tano Bible inasema akawaita wengine kwa apostles Kazi ya aposto ni kuzaa kanisa kulainisha kanisa kufanya mtu yoyote kanisani ajengeke na afanyike kitu actually apostles kazi yao ni kuinua kanisa kuzawa huduma na wewe pia kukuzaa katika huduma umepitia kwa mikono ya apostle and he has produced you in your calling you need that prophet akawaita wengine kuwa prophet prophet kazi yake ujoni verse 11 prophet kazi yake ni kuachilia ukweli ulio katika Mungu ndio uweze kujua siri za Mungu za wakati huu na siku zijazo umepitia kwa prophet ukakoma mwingine ni mwijiristi mwijiristi ni mtu aliye na nguvu ya ajabu ya kufanya kazi nje where sinners are mpaka awatoe mikononi mwa ibilisi wakoke ulipitia hapo na wakakoka vizuri 
Ingine ni mambo ya, ya mwali pasta. Pasta ni mtu aliye na mwito wa kufu wa kulida, kuchunga, kuogoza, kudumisha kanisa, kulitunza likigotea Kristo arudi. Naye mwalimu, mwalimu ni mtu ambaye anakuunda mpaka utoshe jia ya uzima na utoshe mwito wako na utoshe maisha mema na utoshe binguni amen kwa mafundisho unatakaswa kwa mafundisho unabadilishwa kwa mafundisho unastawi kwa mafundisho unajua jia ambao ni mapenzi ya bwana akawaita wengine kuwa mitume wengine kuwa manabii wengine kuwa wajilisti wengine kuwa mapasta na wengine kuwa waalimu ili kazi ya huduma itedeke mpaka watakatifu wakamilike now one of the issue to come now watu wingi wamekata kuwa chini ya malenzi ya five fold ministry what is five fold ministry apostles prophets evangelist pastors teachers ukawa kwamba hallelujah praise god kuna watu kanisani huwa na anga sema na ule sina uhakika nini muzaki unabi unaona huyu hakukaribia na wakati bwana aliongea huwa hakusikia na ule mwingine that sister hajui mafundisho yetu hajui unaangalia mwingine na ule brother tagwa kuje alikataa kushiriki anapatikana tu sade masaa mawili hapatikani kwa mafundisho and i'm not sure nimemzaa kwa mafundisho na malezi mwingine anakuta huja mutunza huja muongoza huja mulainisha mnapatana tu hivi anaondoka nafasi ya kuchunga yeye nafasi ya kumuunda hakuna ukienda kumchunga kama pasta huponyoka akae kivi yake and yet anataka kuwa kanisani haleluya bwana asifiwe there are people ababo mitume wakitokea hawakukuguza mwanabii wa kweli unabii ukitoka hukutunza unabii uchungaji wa kukuunda paka ufanyike mtu ambaye anashiriki vizuri hukupitia kwa hiyo mwalimu wa neno wa kukuunda na mafundisho paka utoshe mapenzi ya Mungu hiyo hukupitia kile na kile wewe unataka ni kuiba wipo kuketi na uondoke but you need to be product of the fivefold ministry ili mwishoe mambo matatu itendeke ukiangalia verse 12 inasema the first thing that you happen ni kwamba amen inasema utakamilika kama mtakatifu equipping the saint for the work of ministry wewe mwenyewe amen kukamilishwa kwamba tukikuangalia brother baada ya mwaka mmoja kanisani umekamilika umekamilika wewe ni mama ambao tulikuona ni kama uko kuota ila dhiri kuota ingine within one year imefika na umekuwa mama ambaye Mungu anataka We ni msichana aliyeolewa last year ulikuwa kama ni muke wa mtu wa nevi kuna hiyo ingine 7/8 ambayo ilibidi uzaliwe na mafundisho I was so happy the other day that I'm a bishop mimi na mke mume wangu ndoa yangu igeisha kiakili tulibishana akaja kapo seminar nikaelezea kitu kinaitwa kuoa akili ya mume wako kuoa akili ya mke wako akaza bishop from that moment 
doa yetu ililainishwa na mafundisho hiyo si mambo utapata kuobewa lazima uketi iingie ili wewe ni muke lakini muke akamilike amen wengine hapo ni waijilisti au nasikia kama wewe na mwito haleluya kuna mtu alikuja hapa kutoka deliverance church kwa bisho nimefanya hata diploma ya theology nikamwambia kuja class uketi nikufundishe akasoma lesson mbili akamwambia bishop usiniite pastor wacha niketi 2 years chini ya mafundisho yako mwingine akaniambia bishop alikuwa pastor wa makanisa mane akamwambia bishop for now niwe na live unilee kwa maana kuna watu aliingia kwa huduma kama haja kuwa chini ya five food ministry and they mess a lot they mess a lot naomba bwana upatikane naomba upatikane mitume wa kuzae katika huduma na maisha naomba upatikane manabii wa kufungue uone mbali na ukobolewe naomba upatikane mafundisho ikuchonge mpaka utoshe mapenzi ya bwana naomba mpatikane tukuchunge mpaka usipotee bali ujue mapenzi ya bwana usiwe mtu tu ibada you need to be at the five fold ministry ukisikia kuna kesha jo labda kwa kesha kutakuwa na unabii sio upasta ukisikia tunaenda maombi jo labda kwa maombi hakutakuwa na unabii na uchungaji kutakuwa na huduma ya mitume be there to be perfected how is the kaki vyako na ukamilike you need five for the ministry wengine wameitwa ili wakukamilishe na ukitaka kujua mtu kanisani anayenda bali ni mtu aliye chini ya five fold ministry na ni mtu daima daima unatamani kukoma chini ya mwito ule ili tusiwe toast not to be toast again but watu waliokoma kitu kingine cha maana sana mtu akikoma unasaidia Mungu kukupa chakula gumu nasema nikupea za Mungu na munisikize Mungu huwa anachukula gumu mambo mengine ya ufunuo ambao yanahitaji mtu akiambiwa ako na uwezo wa kukula Jehova utanitokea niambie mtumishi chukua karamu adika Nimezea kuamka usiku nabia mka wangu mama ninaandika kitu nimeona na sitaki ipotee Tata deni kuna wakati mwambia ninaandika maono ya ikanisa vile takuwa 50 years to come I was writing it at night Hallelujah Hallelujah kama wewe kiakili Bwana kitokea na ufunuo fulani huwezi elewa Mungu akitumia amri fulani unachakanyikiwa kutokukoma kwako na kwangu kunazuia Mungu aongee zaidi na sisi Let me give you an example Munajua Musa where was Moses raised nyumba ya farao Let me tell you something about Lord Jafikiria Katika nyumba ya farao even today mufanya research in those days duniani yote mahali kulikuwa na elimu ya hali ya juu sana ilikuwa katika enzi ya farao na ndio naona siku hizi wameanza kuogea kuhusu the mysteries of the pyramid do you know they are still doing research ya pyramid za Egypt is still mysterious kuna swali wanaulizana pyramid kuna vitu vile dijengwa kuna vitu ambazo mwanadamu hageba kwa mkono according to today lazima kuwe na tractor they are asking how egyptians wali jenga pyramid is still a mystery musa alipoingia kwa farao alipata digili zote watoto wa farao they were the most educated 
Lazima angefudishwa vita. Afudishwe biology. Afudishwe ecology. Afudishwe physics. Musa kama angeulizwa alikuwa na degree zote. Mutoto wa kifaume alikuwa anatakiwa kufanya, kupata. Why? God knew something. Baadaye alipotoroka akaenda jangwani to complete the training. Ili Musa aandike Genesis, aandike Leviticus, aandike Numbers, aandike Deuteronomy, na aandika gani nyingine? Ate Joshua, gani nyingine? Exodus. Hizo vitabu kisoma hazigeandikwa na mtu ambaye hana elimu ya hali ya juu sana. God Ageabia Musa aandike enzi ile haji kuandika ageandika nini Agamuonyesha mawe mawe Musa agabo agalia mawe anayaita jina kwa maana alikuwa amesoma naomba ukomae upatie Mungu nafasi ya kutokusumbuka akikupatia hard messages hard messages hallelujah Haleluya. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Amen. Koma. Ili leo. It is very easy. Bwana kukupa assignment na ikamilike. Leo naongea mambo ya 10,000. I wish kupatikane mtu ambaye umekoma in a way Mwe kwa bia 20,000 Kutakuwa na imani Na ujuzi Na ujasiri Wakujua haraka Jehova anatakaji Hallelujah Jameni kama yetu Uganipata Tunaketi chini Na madirector wa equity bank Bankers Na ulizo msawadi Unaongea mambo na anaona na mtu kuna kitu anajua Hello Bwana asifiwe Hata kama ningeambua ni the state house ningeenda niseme Mr President you have to hear this Ukomae kwamba God can give you hard projects Mikono yako akili yako kana accommodate mambo magumu Mungu ako naye If you don't do it hata kama Mungu anakupenda utapewa tu chakula nyepesi na usidamu Mungu That's why kitabu cha Akorintho Akorintho 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 I hope unaweza fika hapo Mhm. Ebu ha, I hope you are there. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature. Eh? Ni wade ko. Yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing pakasema haya reba sa question do you know why petero hage hubiri sehemu nyingi kwa hata kama alikuwa na upako petero agefika tu jerusalem hapo around ikifika antiochia ikifika Makedonia ikifika Asia Minor ambao nao inaitwa Taki is only Paul Paul we siku hizi ukienda Bible college the theology we study si ya mwingine ni ya Pauline theology is only Paul about hakuamini Mungu tu bali alisoma Mungu na Musikie vile siku hizi watu wa Antichrist wanasema sema hivi odoeni mafundisho ya Paul kwa Biblia na wa Kristo tutaagusha you see that Paul alithibitisha 
Mungu ni nani? Paul alipenya inchi ya pao ndio ilikuwa makao makuu ya system ya antichrist. Paul could bear and mpaka kwa Caesar. They say Caesar Nero jina lake lina add up to 666. Anasema I must appear before you Caesar. It was said Paul angesimama mbele ya mtawala akiongea humwezi. Hakuna case Paul aliitwa ya ijiri. Mfalme akamweza. Hata diwa wawe Nero alizuia Paul kuogea. Kambio siogee. Nimekuhukumu itakuwa wewe. Mtu akikoma utasababisha Mungu akutume inchi za bali abao wala hawajakoma hawezi fika. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwamba unaweza simama mkutano mkubwa London Arena na uhubiri jiri kwa sababu umekoma mpaka wazungu wajue there's a man of God around. Unaweza tumwa na Mungu Israel. Uhubiri mpaka wale wako na PhD na wengine wasomi wasikie na kuna akili inaoelewa Mungu vizuri in that man. May God raise you now. When I was praying for you, God said to me, ambia watu wa NBD haraka. Jamani mwaombea sana. Hata wakati wa 10,000, nimekuwa nikiomba Mungu wangu ni wangapi ataenda wa kilo. Kido nionyesha. And I remember the other night I was praying, wakabia abia watu wa bahati wako mai haraka. Mungu! Unajua one time tulia da mkutano wa mabisho na wachugaji na media chairman ninaongea maono makubwa na tukabishana bishop mmoja akasema muachilieni bishop katimo atawabie kile mungu anamwambia akasema chairman niruhusu niongee yes akasema mimi bereni nimekuwa nikikupinga lakini mimi nimeogopa mungu ate usiku alionyeshwa niko juu ya mlima mkubwa ninaona ba na apostle faith church na wachungaji wako chini na wavuruta na bia joni buone akasema bishop i'm praying for you because need you know me choka ukivuruta wachungaji na washirika joni muone kile naona hiyo kitu nimerudia kuiombea bwana kaniambia ambia walio karibu hawa watu wa bahati wako mai haraka kwa maana this church will be on run kuna mambo nasikia bingu inaachilia. Hola mashakaba. Kuna mambo nasikia. Watu wamekaa unakaa na vijana wako wawili watatu hapo, wasichana wako. The only thing you do with your son and daughter ni mwakule washibe. But tell them beyond kukula ugali washibe, there is a mighty mighty move of God. I see wapendwa manyumba magari makanisa makubwa watoto walioenda bali i have that vision imenisubua nimeambua mkomae iuwe na bio bwana hii mambo at the fellowship unavurutwa maombi ya kufungwa lazima utangaziwe kusikia sauti ya Mungu huwezi gojea sababu kuna haraka huu Mungu atapata nafasi lini ya impartation inasema we speak wisdom among those who are mature the same thing ukiona bwana swa sana katika the same ukienda first corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 and hapo first corinthians chapter 3 verse 2 inasema i fed you with milk and not with the solid food for until now you are not able to receive it and even now you are still not able hiyo ni kilio cha paulo anasema ni mnachakula ingine ngumu lakini kanisa la korintho in a time ninawakalimbia ni wape ufunuo mkubwa ninajaribiwa kuwapa maziwa for even now 
you are not able to receive it. Naomba Mungu sasa akija asiseme even now you are not able. Leke gayoka apate now haukunywi maziwa wanaweza kunywa hard food. Ombi ya Bwana Bwana anajua bereni ugenipembeleza kama mtoto but now Lord I'm ready for solid food. Hey! This is very very fearful. I fed you with milk not with the solid food for until now you are not able to receive. Alon kuokoka na ukae pale umejadhiri na mke wako haitoshi bwana. Dio Mungu sasa akuinue akutumie kuna bio ya kukoma. Ili Mungu akija aseme katika store yake ana muradi agetaka usimamiwe na mtu kanisani wa kujeka manyumba 20 Mombasa Road apart in this church there is somebody for that solid food anataka idara ya music ifike level whereby ukiweda kwa YouTube unapata timu yetu ya praise iko na subscribers million 20 Lazima Jehova our party you are ready for that. Na sema muache mwaze bill. Unakaa buruburu na kaa madhale unakaa umoja. Mungu ana nyumba yako kubwa sana. I came to discover Mungu ako so open. Nilipo kasi kumonja ni ku negotiate kununua nyumba. I discovered ukiwa open na usiwe mtu muoga you can live anywhere nilikuwa napewa nyumba moja kawa shukari na ingine about nikaipata lovington nikawa niko na interest Nairobi ya hii baada hii na kuambia hakuna kitu gazuia mimi nikae lovington Nitoke baha hapa chini muji wa Ravington it is it, i discovered it is so easy na sio pesa nilikuwa naye ni ile hali ya kwamba i'm now open and i believe i can do i can do it na vile nilikuwa naongea hallelujah amen tulipokuwa tunaanza hii mamba 10000 na kupuka tukiongea na director wa kuba na na waambia sikizeni hiyo shaba tunainunua hata tumechelewa na saa hiyo account yenu inashika 2000 na anga madrifot na bwa bishop muna pesa gani kama kanisa one time i asked a question kwa maana nikawauliza ni wakati wa campaign ruto na raida wameaga pesa wapi <laughs> nikawaba sasa situjui labda kwa kwa nyumba zao labda nikaambia hata sisi tuna pesa nyingi kwa nyumba zetu mtu tutaze hata <laughs> sisi kile mnaona kwa account ni, 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 ni 110 zikile ziko kwa balcony zikile ziko chini ya godoro tupatieni tutanunua na nyinyi msikose imani kama hiyo mtakagodha okiri yake godo hiyo haleluya haleluya koma Kusiba na mwanaume Joshua liabuaje hakuna mwanaume ataweza kusimama mbele yako as long as you live Hallelujah May the Lord bless you in Jesus name Kabla tu daraka Korintho Hebu tuende chapter 14 verse 20 Tuende chapter 14 verse 20 ya Korintho inasema nini Dugu sangu musiwa watoto katika akili zenu Brethren do not be children in understanding However in malice and mengine mambo mengine ya dunia You know sometimes unaenda unaona kijana youth ile area umexplore sana kwa internet ni movies the movies yet the where the most dreadful movie 
Jana uliona walio uana 20. Sasa wataka kuona mume wengine wakiwa mtu ambaye aliua watu 30 na seconds. Tika hiyo uroki. Nini hiyo na kufanya nini? Nampa Mungu sifa kwa kijana mmoja sasa kwa Amerika. Nilikuja hapa nimelala nikiomba nikapewa unabii nikaabwa edo wabie kanisa do not withdraw your vision that boy was around alikuwa anajisikia kukufa nikipitia pale nikaambia watu vijana why don't you go to the internet na uende na nikasema hivi enda na imani yangu sasa enda uangalie university inaweza kupatia masters or whatever na scholarship he believed is the voice of god Ali Gugu Mungu akampa breakthrough akapata monje kamuliza young man you look intelligent you look intelligent give us tupatie sasa transcript nilimwona akaniambia bishop do you need something nimepata scholarship ya 5 years na nipo na visa 5 years niombe niende out of us mommy you see friends kuna mmoja niambia ipo kwa ofisi yako hapa akafanya kabe bishop sahi this one offering half scholarship kile kimeja kwa akili ni wakora na wanaume wakira na wanaume phonography shetani ashidwe na ukiangalia walebo ule at the, at ule mrebo akona pua ati watu walio na pua defu bakona bakona chromosome gani you spent a lot of time bila kujenga understanding you see basa maivi brothers do not be children in understanding katika imambo ya usherati na nini afadhali watu wakuambie hujui mambo mengi ya usherati hujui story nyingi sana za watu kunyongana haujui mambo mengi sana ya watu kuinda wengine lakini in understanding ama man ati akili yako dhilikwata ni ujuzi usio na maana ah uh, may the lord anoint this church in jesus name i say in the name of the lord be built hallelujah amen god bless you god keep you let me finish because topic hii ni kubwa hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 inasema hivi verse 14 lakini chakura kingumu ni cha watu wazima solid food belongs to those who are of full age that is those who by reason of use have their senses can you hear this have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil kuna kitu kinaitwa senses do you know what it means baba franco this is a very deep word senses exercised to discern katika kichwa cha mtu kuna kile kinaitwa senses they have been exercised to discern hallelujah kwamba brother waweza fungulia keyboard within one day when the bali kuliko mtu ambaye amecheza for 10 years your senses your senses have been exercised umefanyisha macho yako kusikia kwako kunusa kwako kuguza kwako senses umezifanyisha mazoezi mpaka unaweza babanua mapenzi ya Mungu you will never get stuck kwa hapo kile kutafuta job kuna vire your senses hazitakosa ile kazi mungu amekuwekea ukifungua business you have to cause those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern pigia yesu makofi hallelujah hallelujah no kiangalia the same chapter 5 verse 12 Inasema nini? Inasema kwa maana 
iwapasapo kwa walimu maana wakati mwingi umepita mbo mahitaji kufudishwa na mtu mafudisho ya kwanza ya maneno ya Mungu for though by this time you want to be teachers reading wengine you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God and you have come to need milk and not solid food unaitaji by now uwe mtu abaye hata in your family you can lead at 10 families unakuta in your family your cousins your brothers wazazi wako ndio zeeka they can follow you unatakiwa leo ukipigiwa simu uambiwe baba yako ni mgonjwa akili yako nasema your senses have been exercised to discern waweza peana jibu na huu baba tuokoe uhai wake umaiona watu ambaye we habari yenu umeona wadada wabao mkitembea kwake mkiwa wengi anachanganyikiwa tumevamia wewe tu vu <laughs> na mwingine mkitema mmstue dio akili yake nakimbia kama ya Sara Sara aliabuaje mwe basema Jehova akatembelea Abraham bila kumwambia ko badra ya Abraham dakika tano there was order Sara pika mkate haraka leta maji nioshe hao miguu nitawadha hao miguu he na wewe chinja ngombe haraka Jehova ametembelea kama nyinyi wa mama exercise your senses to a level whereby unaweza shughulikia great things haleluya haleluya kwa ba ukiangalia mtoto wako hivi akiharibika hutahitaji uitwe akiwa jogoo polisi hutahitaji uitwe mtoto akiwa amezaa kado ya barabara mapema your senses are exercised to the sun you can tell my son my daughter kuna kitu kinaharibika naomba tukomae tukomae bible yasema kwa hibrania mwatakiwa sasa kuwa walimu that is hebrews 5 verse 12 mwatakiwa this time you are leaders Watakiwa this time wewe msichana uko hapa na miaka thati already una nyumba na lipa loan mortgage Watakiwa at the age of 25 ndio unamaliza PhD you are submitting your project Watakiwa sasa uko na miaka 40 Amen unaniita nifungue nyumba yako roai Can we prove it Why what the bible saying Though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you again the first principles na munatitaji maziwa even after 10 years 10 years 10 years where's the head upsa hapa wabie manager nataka tuogee within the next 10 years ni jege nyumba ya room ya 5 unapa sina mtanipatia au nitajibu nitaje lipa why kwa sababu my senses have been so much exercised i cannot discern vile nazachukua loan nijeke nyumba kama hiyo within 10 years niwalipe i know mali ya kiangalia uso anaona kama umetoka binguni unaanguka hapo anasema kama vile farao alimwambia joseph tutatoa wapi mtu mwenye hekima kama huyu May God anoint you friends. And that's what ukiangalia okay, maitu mesoma the other verse 14 inasema hii Hebrews 14 inasema hivi haleluya inasema inasema we exercise and then and then inasema hivi there's the other about mesoma katika katika 1 Corinthian chapter 3 verse 2 inasema wapendwa amen muda umeenda no, in not verse 2 i think is 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 14 verse 20 and you know is chapter 2 verse 6 inasema time is far gone amen is you know is that my time ogalia 
Huwezi. Huwezi fauru. Ugali. Asama now time is far gone. Why? Wakati mtu alikuwa komae akalala kuna mwako ulipita. Kuna majira yalipita. Kuna unabii ulipita. Leo asubuhi if you check the message na nasema unabii huwa mara mbili. Kuna the prophecy of the moment na kuna prophecy of season. Go and check that message. Unakuta kwamba una every year there is a prophecy of season. Na hairudiwi. Unabii wa hii kanisa wa 2020. Prophecy of season ulipita na walioamini walitimiziwa. Unabii wa hii kanisa wa 2021 ulipita na walioamini walitimiziwa. Unabii wa 2022 ulipita. Tuko 2023 God is talking about becoming a millionaire. Wapendwa, hautakiwi kupitwa na what we call the prophecy of season. Every season has a prophecy that should not bypass you. How do you handle it? And there Mungu wa unabi mwambie ulisema unaniinua kuwa millionaire is the prophecy of the season. Na ulisema nataka 340 million. God, kama hii ndio jia utaniinua naye, nionyeshe jia za hii unabi because the source of the prophecy is God and he knows the way. Wengine wanasema haya hiyo ni mambo ya bishop. Let me tell the truth. Bishop atasonga mbere na huu unabi utimia nipewe mwingine next year na next year nyingine. Na kwambia itakuwa uchungu sana. Hii neno ikitimia time is far much gone. Kwamba nafasi ya Mungu ya kurudia mambo ambao hukushika is not there. Let me tell something. Do you know unaweza lala mpaka jambo fulani Mungu angetumia na wewe akwambie now because of the age allow me to use your son. Eh? Geta ikawi kario ngo. Ukose kupenya kwa huduma ya uibaji na nini? Akwambie brother hata kama unabii ulikuwa wako because of age time is far much gone. Na mjua life is a matter of space and time. Koech the next five years utakuwa hata kama ni police unaenda hivi unaambua consider me for retire. Baba Jerry alikuwa mwalimu. Kambia amesomea Japan, amesomea Canada na akanambia wakati huo kuna kitu ulipotambia alikuwa na kunywa kidogo lakini bwana akamuokoa. Ako na story nzuri sana za ukobozi habari yako mzee. Baba Jeria ate amepewa scholarship anaenda Canada. Kufika airport anakunywa pombe ndege na buacha. <laughs> but he was still a blessed man. Amen. Nakumbuka wakati wa dawa ya Jeria tulikuja akaangalia wale wazee wanaweza kujua pombe wakata kukujwa. Akarudi jua kasaba ni bora kirie. <laughs> but I thank God for the wife Mama Jeli alikuwa anasema muti kamulia na wako. Ah, it was powerful. Amen. Na baadaye akanita abia ni bishop akuje. Na mambo matatu. Ya kwanza ni kusherekea miaka ya doa. Ya pili lakini anasema na tatu si wabii nitasema bishop akija. Tukaenda tukaobea tuka kwanza na ya pili. Ya tatu akasema nataka kuokoka. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Unaweza kaa hivi na mimi. Iwe miaka majira season kama tano zilipita. Mungu aseme time is far much gone. Na even ukiwa that age unandazimisha kukupa maziwa. Akwambie sasa I cannot waste time with this age. Let me use your grandson. Usione kama Mungu atakupembeleza sana na unambi. Kuna wakati atasema wacha nitumie walio kimbia mbio yangu. Nimewaombea Bwana ameniambia ambia wale watu wako mae. Ile mbio iko kwa ikanisa 
is powerful. Na haitaacha wewe. Na usiwe mjuaji. Kuna watu wana mawazo si ya maono. Ni mawazo ya majirani. Mina. Kuna dadu kikaa na unasikia ana mawazo mengine sana ya waduna wadada. Unajua furani ya iniambia. Furani hata hata wakati ulitagaza iniambia. Wacha. Kuna kutu kama hiyo. Hatu taki maoni. Mugu akiongea already anaongea final word. Wakuitikia amulize. Diwa kuinue. Si ulize mtu. Na si uchanganye unambi na mabu ya kwako. Gideon alijaribu kuchanganya unambi. Anaambia mungu. Kwetu. Familia yetu diyo masikini sana. Na mimi kwetu diyo hata the least. Aliyabua wacha sture nyingi. Wewe ni mighty man. I'll be with you. Walio changanya unambi. Na uchungu wa kifamilia. Mungu atakuwacha. Mwenye haku anajiweza meaka 38. Bible says Jesus came. Na kijua ameka hivo. Miaka hiyo yote akamambia. Do you want to be whole? Jamaa kasema. Sina mutu. Waku niingiza kwa maji. Akabwa stop it. Usichaganye. Chenye kime toka. Kwa kini cha enzi. Na ubaya na udhaifo mazingira. Aliambua mimi ni yesu. I don't need angels. I don't need maraika tibuwe maji. Chukua kodoro. Tebea na wende. Musi changanye. Unabi. Na story za naibu liyo pitia. Unabi umetoka juu. Story zako simetoka. Kawagole na bahati. Kareto something. Kama unakawa bahati. Au kawagole. Au wewe rizaliwa sijui cherondo. Huku ni mari ulijipata. That professor produce you. Do you know mutu ana maisha mawili? Mahali ulijipata. Na mahali unabi utakupereka. So tukuna shida na watu wabao. Unajua sana mahali ulijipata. Na shida za hapo. Kwa ba kuitikia. Kuitikia. Uzawa wa biguni ni shida. Bible nasema. Whosoever is born of God. Overcomes the world. Sasa wewe unaleta world. Na ya munga sema, pana, nataka kukuza dunia yudi nyuma yako. Sumeni tukuru mungu. Baba tunakupenda, waminifu wako na wajabu. Abia bana, I'm ready to become a great man, a woman in your hands. Baba kama kuna mtu, unatafuta katika majira haya. Na baba bana, unihesabu moja. Niko open sasa kufanyika kilo lisema. Bwana wa mabwana, mufama wa faume, unapo zuru wengine, unapo hesabu watu kutumia. I surrender my life to you, I surrender my family to you, I surrender my heart to you, I surrender my children to you, I surrender my life to you, in the name of Jesus. Shakata raba zindiririma. Sharara raba kuta ria kosete rima zina. Oh, oba kabisa, just tell God. Mika tapo seta. Ogea nae, jisalimisha kwake. Let God take over. Let the blood of the Lord take over. In the name of the Lord. Shedererera. Shedari baba babu. Tenana nama katarabu. Shekata po seka rara babu zaya. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Rasta to pray now. Kuna jabo ukonaro. Kuna attack ukonazo. Kuna woga usiwelewa. Au labda ata dhambi fulani. Aba huja hacha. Ambo imefanya. Ukai kitu wakimonja. Bila kutoka for a long time. Umeowa. Mumesubwana na muke wako. Tangu lipo muowa. Mwesuwana mume wako for 30 years. Hakuna siku mume. Mume kaa pahara pa moja 30 years. Vida muribisha na 1980. The same is happening again. Ume kaa kwa family. Na munalia miaka yote. Uripata wazazi wakilia. 
Sasa nyi munalia. Kuna jabo liko. Limekueka para pamoja. Ukiwa haukomai. Mpaka hata buwana. Akitaka kukutumia kwa jiampia. It's a problem. I say to you. Repent. Na wagushe chini. Kira gome. Kira hovu. Kira woga. Kira confusion. Mwambie buwana. Now. Nizae katika majira haya. Yo jabo bomb I don't know you lakini umekaa pahara pamoja for a long time no geta kasa bwana akuinue ugabia god enough is enough let my journey start let my journey start now enough is enough my god my father dig my caroling no way uliaza miradi kakwama 20 years muradi hata uendelee I tell you something should happen now. Uliaza maisha after three years. Mahali ulifika. You have never gone up. Kama ni mungu wa mekuita. Utaitikia mabadriko sasa. Whoever wants that church. Ino mkono juu. No mwambie mungu. Unataka sasa kubadrike. Unataka kubadrike. Unataka kubadrike. Unataka kubadrike. Nataka buwano kiniteberea. Unipe solid fooda. Oh, staki mugu aja na maono arudi nae. Staki mugu aja na chakura arudi nae. Nataka buwana sasa. Ukiesabu watu walio koma. Mungu ni koboe. Ebu tuombe. Ina mkono tuju. Ongea tuno mungu. Ongea kabisa. Ongea. 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 No siogope. Ongea. No suwe na wasiwasi. Wachana na watu na hadithi zao. Mutazame buwana. The author and the perfecter of our faith. Hey, hey. Ukona watoto. Walikuwa ma. Hakuna neza saidia mwingine. Abia buwana. Mungu ni mekatai ya ibu. Ukona robaya. Imezunguka kila mtu kwa family. Ikimpanda kwa aibu. Abia buwana koboa hii nyumba. Rema kataba. Sherelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelele
Shakata Bazika Rokoposo Taka Papa Shaka Rikerereba Ramasa Kataraba Sherari Babuzai Bana Mabana Pokea Sifa Oba Kabisa Omba Sahi Mungo Nateda Majabu Chukwa Mamlaka Pokea Dam Yesu Inene Kwa kida sector of your life. Iyo roho ya utumwa. Itoke na yada kuzimu. Iyo roho ya rana. Iyo roho ya mpinga kristo. Iyo roho ya uchawi. Iyo roho ya adui. Ivujike. Iyo tabia ya giza ishe. Hallelujah. Asante bana. Baba. Toku shukuru. Inatumi kono juu. Baba tuwa kuipa sifa. Mungu kama vile uliambia Israeli. Kwa mulima wa sinai. Ukasema mumezunguka mulima hii ya kutosha. Sasa pandeni. Pandeni. Kwa maana siku waita kwa mulima. Niri waita kwa inchi ya hadi. And now in the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. I release you brother. I release you sister. I release your family. I release your miracle. I release your promise. From the mouth of God. I release deliver us now. Na kituo na madhabau yote ya shetani. Na ya gamiza. Isi wayo na kana tena. Kwa mamulaka ya damu ya yesu. I raise the altar of the blood of Jesus in your business. I raise the altar of the blood of Jesus in your marriage. I raise the altar of the blood of Jesus in our children. I raise the altar of the blood of Jesus in our souls. Na mungu wa mirere. Ajifunue. Kwa jiaku. Poke ni amani. In Christ we pray. Sasa, tumemaliza ibada. Simama tu hivu, I just want to say this. Amen, hallelujah. Tuesday, tunakesha the department. Praise team na wengine. Iyo tagazo na pili. Uh, tagazo iyo tukonalo hapo na pili. Just go through. Cruise, we, crusade ya mrorogo jameni mewaka. Leo, tutafanya hivi. Bada ibada ine, tunaubatizo hapa. And I want to ask you, because waweza kuwa haukupata nafasi ya kutimiziwa ubatizo. Waweza kuwa ulibatizwa kwa kupa kwa maji. Waweza kuwa ulibatizwa uko mtoto mchanga. Waweza kuwa ulibatizwa lakini haukuwa umeokoka. Yaweza kuwa hata umeokoka juzi. Na ulikuwa umebatizwa bereni. Ubatizo wa kweli ulio na upako na favor ni baada ya mtu kuacha dhambi kabisa na kusema sitairudia. Hata kama labda huku umeandanguo. We would like to encourage you by the grace of God. Ujaza hii form. Uichukue na uje na hapa juu. Tutakupatia nguo. Ili usipitwe na nafasi ya kuti mungu. Kwa hivyo hii karatasi. Pika hapo. Hea mtu habaya. Na hea pika hapo. Zoz pika badu wengine. Thank you. Kama huku jaza, unione. Katika agano jipia, mutu walikuwa na koka asubuhi, sasaba na batizo. Nawe unasema, ukigia kwa maji. We are saying, you are dead to sin and alive forevermore with Christ. Na diyo huu batizo, sometimes wabaza watu wanapona. Wengine unajazwa. Wengine doors in a dejea. Wengine unapata kuna mwaba meisha. Nawe ukai kwa jia za mungu. Jabuli gine ni kwa ba tarea kuminatana. Muna ikubuka? 15th. Iyo siku mimi ni mayobea sana. And I see God waiting for us. Kagudo road. Iyo siku ya kuchanga. Ni siku ya kukutana tuwabia buwana. We are your servants. Use us now. There will be mighty revelation and visitation. Tutakutana jumamosi. Iyo nakuja satano. Watu wa bahati. 
tufike saa tatu. Wale wengine kutoka Dodoma kutoka wapi hata Ulaya watupate hapo tukisifu na tukiabudu. Idara zetu mjiadabi siku hiyo apia Bwana ni yake. Ampia customers Jehovah siku hiyo amekuita. Hizi karatasi ni chache lakini hii ni ya kukuambia can I have some youth or some people Opea watu mwenye do it wewe kuja kazi bwana habari yako eh take this haraka 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 patia 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 please 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 beba moja moja hiyo ni ya kukuambia uombe hiyo ni ya kukuambia mambo utakotarajia huko chukua moja moja kama huko umechukua chukua tafadhali and take it seriously this is a very important meeting kwa hivyo leo leo baada ya ubatizo habari yenu Unaniona? Eh? Moto idea. Unaniona? Na haitoki mwangu wa idea lakini ni mtu wa maziwa business hiyo ibarikiwe. Habari yenu baada hiyo Dev. Leo baada ya ubatizo, baada nini? Tutaenda mrogo. Na ningetaka mmoja wote. Hiyo crusade iko na breakthrough. He? Ukienda Mombasa cement Eh pale Mombasa Road. Mombasa Cement iko pande hii. Pande hii kuna estate inaitwa Sabaki. Pale kuna kamuli unaona wewe sasa hapo. Ingia hapo ndio tuna crusade. Na tafadhali jo ukijua Kristo anaokoa ajabu. Naye Mungu wa milele wabariki sana sana. Sunday. Semeni Sunday. Tuna ibada kubwa sana hapa. Arafu ikifika saa sita ibada ine dio tunaibada tunaita na inakuwa kubwa kuliko harusi the hard of fellowship ceremony ya kubariki kupokea na kuidhinisha on you members it will be great semeni amen. amen tukimaliza tutakula nao pamoja alafu saa tisa ndugu huyu mwimbaji huyu kuja hapa naona akiruka huko hivi hebu Mimi hupenda ku promote maono ya mtu. Sunday saa tisa tuna launch gospel song when do akungai by Samuel Mwangi Kivu ni huyu hapa saa tisa na tutachangia tumbariki na guest singers Shiro wa GP Charles Kingori Fires Buthia Don't miss Amen. Ni mwambie aite wala watu mimi natabua. Wengine wabarikiwe. Hallelujah. Let's bless this man. Atoe video. Na pia ningetaka awe na family business. Ah, sitakuja. Otherwise God bless you so much. Matangazo mengine mfuate vizuri. Yote iko na Mungu wabariki. Katikati ya wiki jameni. Mikutano inaendelea vile Kesho ni Revival Thursday Home Churches Mighty Meeting